Hi, Nate Martinez, Remax Professionals. How you doing today? Today I'm gonna to tell you a story. So I'm gonna tell you a story about the real estate market because everywhere I go, every conversation I have, people ask me, Nate, what's going on in real estate today? As I'm concerned about the welfare of my clients that I've been calling, I never call looking for business. I'm just basically calling to do a welfare check, making sure that they're doing okay. But by the end of the call, they're asking me all these questions about real estate. So real estate is still a sexy topic out there. So the best way I can kind of explain what's happened over the last six to eight weeks in the real estate market in the Phoenix metropolitan area is basically, you know, I look at the real estate market as a flowing river. There's going to be always a current. Sometimes that current might be roaring really fast. Sometimes it might be very slow, like a, a slow stream. So what happened was coming into January, February, March, I mean, the market was just on fire. Multiple offers under pretty much most of the houses under 350 all had multiple offers. Um, inventory was low. Inventory was coming off the market almost as quick as it was going on. Matter of fact, in the month of April, 27% of all homes that sold, sold above full price. So that's getting into the market. So very active, very flowing market. What happened when the market changed, when, when orders to shut down different cities, different states, people started getting skeptical. What I saw at that point was buyers canceling their purchase to sell, sellers canceling their listings because they didn't want anybody coming in their house, and the market just kind of dropped, and the current dropped, so to speak. So when the current drops, it exposes things such as boulders in the middle of the river that you have to navigate around causing more rapids. And this is what we had for like the whole month of March. It was it, it was treacherous, so to speak. I mean, everybody was stressed out. Buyers, sellers, real estate agents, uh, you know, trying to get appraisers out there, uh, getting home inspections done, getting repairs done. During this month, it was very, very difficult. Uh, what we've noticed is as inventories come up, sales have come up, and the water levels come up and basically we don't really have the rapids that we had in the month of March. So April was a pretty strong market. Today it's continuing to rise. Now we've been, I think we're just going to flow steady for the next 30 days until the market opens up. Phoenix is scheduled 15th, maybe the 30th, who knows, it keeps changing. Different levels of business will be coming back to being open again. But let's say we're another 30 days of the market. What's going to happen is that that dam that might have been created by COVID, you know, two months ago, is now going to release all that pent up buyers and sellers that were there on the market. Plus, the last two months where people thought they were supposed to get in the market and buy or sell, they kind of put their their thoughts of buying and selling on hold are going to be entering the market as well. So it's going to be like the dam broke, and all of a sudden the river is going to be raging. So we're looking forward to <laughs> working extra hard over the next uh, quarter uh, into the, and all the way into December, we're gonna see a high volume, a high peak of sales going later in the year than normally tapering off once winter comes. I hope this information, the story of my river and how it, how it kind of is either raging or it's just flowing. Oh, one other thing to think about, sometimes there's different rivers that tie into that big river. One could be luxury. Right now, luxury, that river has slowed down quite a bit. But the, but the entry level market or homes under 350, that river is moving pretty quick still. So it just depends on where you are in the market and that, that's gonna determine uh, how fast the river's flowing. Thank you for watching my video. If there's anything I can do for you to help you along in your career, please reach out to me. My cell phone number is 602-430-5226. Again, Nate Martinez, have a super day, bye.